Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Hi how are you? Fine, thanks. Very Fine. good. Nice. I'm glad to see you. Sorry that I'm a little late. I had some trouble with the other class, so I had to come a couple of minutes late. Disculpen que vine un poquito tarde, tuve problemas con la otra clase, entonces tuve que mover un poquitín ahí el horario, so sorry. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so tell me about your day. How was your day? Excellent. Excellent? Nice. Excellent. I'm glad nice. to hear that. Yeah. Ana Ruth, how was your day? Hi. Um, mm -hmm. I I was um, doing cleaning my house. Okay, you have been cleaning your house. A lot of work. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Lorena, how are you? Oh, I was taking problems with my computer, making the, the, the homework, the platform. Oh. I. I lose a, a much time doing that, but maybe really? I can, I can do it. Yeah. Of course, you will achieve it, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was some, some, no sé how you say trauma, but I, maybe oh. I, say I can do it. So traumatized? No, yeah. come on. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> ya va a ver que va a poder hacerlo todo, y cualquier cosa ya estamos a la orden. I'm I here to help it. you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Jose Arturo, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks, and you? I'm doing well, thank you. Jason Elias, how are you, Jason? Fine, teacher. Just Very fine. busy. Okay. The class of the university, but I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Irving, how are you? Um, very good. Very good. Nice. I'm glad very to good. hear you. I had a church service. Sorry, what did you have? I have, I had a church service. Oh, really? That's nice. Very good. Hasmin, how are you? Do you pronounce it Hasmin or Jasmine? Como lo dice? <laughs> Okay, so how are you today? Hi, I was busy too. Okay, yeah, you have you have had a tiring day. Ha sido un día cansado, tiring day. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Isabel, yeah. Isabel, how are you? I am great. Very good. Okay, so let's start with the class right away. Let's see, first of all, tell me, have you been able to work in the platform? Han trabajado en la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos con eso? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you for your help. Okay, you're welcome. Today. Thank you. You're welcome. Ya saben, estoy para ayudarles en lo que necesiten. I know. Thank you. And then, do you have any questions about any of the exercises or topics? No sé si tenemos preguntas de alguno de los temas o de alguno de los ejercicios. Questions? No, teacher. No. No one. Okay. Sounds good. So then we are going to start by talking about important dates in the USA. So here I have some questions. Um, I'm going to send you to breakout rooms so you can answer them. So please get your cell phone or your in your computer. You can Google the questions. If you are not sure about the dates or anything, you can Google for information and then you answer them. So we have, for example, when is Halloween, when is Independence Day, when is Valentine's Day, when is Christmas, when is Thanksgiving. 
So let's answer the first one. When is Halloween? Do you know the answer? And uh, yeah, October, October 31st. 31st. Exactly, Halloween is on October 31st. So that's what you have to do. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms right now. So please accept okay. the accept the invitation that you are going to get. And let's see, we're going to make six. Okay, so accept it, please. And I'm going to send the questions to the to the chat group, okay? We got Good evening, teacher. Hi, Jason. Hi, Anna. Do you have the Hi. questions already? Yes. Okay, they are in the chat. Yes. Uh, I start. Yeah. No? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I. ¿Cómo sería? Yo realizo la pregunta y, y Ana Ruth la va a responder. ¿O cómo es, teacher? Sí. Yes, Así. you can do it that way. So you say, I ask okay. and Ana Ruth answers. And she answers. Okay. Exactly. Eh, okay. When is Halloween? Halloween is on October uh, 30th. Ooh, first. Nice. <laughs> Don't worry, okay, we're uh, just practicing to get it. Vamos a seguir practicando para que podamos hacerlo ya más naturalmente, okay? But you're fine, very good. Teacher, no sé si solo soy yo, pero ¿cuándo es Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. De gracia. Okay. De gracia. ¿Cuándo es? Del pavo. No, 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 la, la fecha más que todo. Uh -huh. Thanksgiving is on the fourth Thursday in November. So there isn't a specific date, but it's the fourth Thursday, no matter the date. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Is in December twenty five. Twenty fifth. Remember, twenty fifth. When is Thanksgiving? ¿Cómo se diría el catorce? That is fourteenth. Solo cuando solo cuando entra ya de veinte para arriba cambia. Cambia, por ejemplo, en el hecho que agregamos twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, and so on. Pero del, del, 11, del 11 al, me parece que al 17 sería normal. Eh, nada más que agregamos en todas TH, desde el 4 o el cuarto, mejor dicho, hasta el número 20 agregamos TH. Suenan muy parecido, pero sí llevan ese sonidito de TH al final. Like fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and then we get to sixteenth, seventeenth. Hay que hacer ese, es casi imperceptible, es poca la diferencia, pero sí hay que hacer esa pronunciación al final para que podamos eh, decirlo correctamente, ¿verdad? Ok, gracias. You're welcome. No more questions? Uh, when is Halloween? <laughs> oh, when is Halloween? Halloween is on October 31st. And Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is on the fourth Thursday of November or in November. Fourth. Yeah. The fourth 
Thursday. There's no date. No tenemos una fecha definida, sino que mm. se dice que es el cuarto, cuarto eh, jueves, jueves de noviembre. Aquí en Google dice 26 de noviembre. Ah, sí, el 26 de noviembre porque sería la fecha de este año, pero eh, uh -huh. se mueve siempre de, de fecha. So you can say both, the fourth Thursday in November, or in this case, for this year, we have the November the 26th, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. February. February 14th. February 14th. February 14th. Mm -hmm. When when is Christmas? Hmm. Christmas. Christmas is on December 24th. Yes. When years day. When years years. No, no los alcancé a ver bien, pero supongo que sí. Hi, do you have any questions? Este, sí, fíjese que nosotros dos tuvimos problemas para ingresar a la, a la reunión. Este, ahorita lo estábamos comentando y a ambos nos salía que el anfitrión ya estaba en una reunión recurrente. Yo lo que hice fue meterme a mi correo y de ahí eh, eh, darle en el link, que normalmente no lo estaba haciendo, sino que después de que, confirma, de que me escribí para confirmar que me iba a meter, me redireccionaba automáticamente aquí. Y hoy tuvimos ese problema, entonces en ese contratiempo este, solo pudimos anotar las primeras dos preguntas. Ah, uh, ok, don't worry, I'm going to tell you the other ones. So, they are also in the chat. Ahí también en el chat las enviaron algunos de los compañeritos. So we have um, the third one, when is Valentine's Day, then when is Christmas, and when is Thanksgiving. Valentine's. Uh -huh. Valentine's Day. Teacher, we Christmas. find uh, uh -huh. Tell me. Teacher, we, we find them another date. Uh, for example, the Veterans Day or the President's oh. Day, too. Oh, that's nice. That's nice that you did some research. So tell me, when is Veterans Day? But, but you need this these dates. Mm, yes, if you can answer them, it would be great. But it's nice that you found some other dates. Está muy bien que hayan ah, buscado okay. otras okay. también, okay? Okay, okay. Thanks. All right, so we are going to be back to the main session in 30 seconds. Okay, okay, thanks, Cynthia. Okay, you're welcome. Valentine's Day. When you Valentine's Day, we put in February 14th. 14, ajá. Uh -huh. Y la última, ¿cuál era? La última era eh, Acción de Gracias. No, pero le faltó pero... la de Navidad. Navidad, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, Navidad, sí, sí, sí. Eh, diciembre 25 y Thanksgiving, jueves, Thursday, noviembre 26. 26. 26. Ya nos tenemos que salir. Ya nos va a sacar. Yes. Bye. It's time. Bueno.
No escucho. Oh, oh sorry, my microphone wasn't on. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. So let's see, Irving, help me with the first question, please. When is Halloween? And thirty thirty first October. Okay. okay, so Halloween is on October thirty first. Very good, Irving. Thank you, Ana Ruth. When is Independence Day? Independence Day is on September. 15th. All right, very good. Then Roberto, when is Valentine's yeah. Day? Uh, it's on the February 14th. Okay, it's on February 14th. Yes. Karen Quintanilla, very good, thank you. Karen, when yes. is Christmas? Is on December um, 25. 25th. 25th. Mm -hmm. Very good, Karen. 25th. Excellent. And the last one, let's see who's going to help me. Jasmine, when is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is on uh, November. Okay, it's on November 26th this year, and usually we celebrate it in, or well, always, we celebrate it on the, the fourth Thursday fourth. in November, okay? En este año tenemos esa fecha, pero puede cambiar porque se celebra el cuarto jueves del mes de noviembre. No importa la fecha, sí, okay? No it changes. Tell me. Se puede decir is um, four week the November. Yes, you can also say that it's ah, on okay. the fourth week. Exactly. Okay. Thank Very you. good. So Mauricio, you had some other dates. Me dijo que tenía otras fechas. Las puede compartir, please. Can you share them? Yes, um, I have another date. Um, Veterans Date is, in, is on November 11, and the President Day 2 is, is on February 22nd. All right, nice. Thank you for researching and getting all those dates. Okay, okay. It's very interesting. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about yes, no questions with be going to. So yesterday we said that they start with the verb be and we have some examples. I have them here again. So are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are they going to invite their best friend to the party? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. And also we have, is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Ayer vimos estos ejemplos de yes, no questions. Y decíamos que inician siempre con el verb be, am, um, is, or are. Luego, el sujeto. Al, a diferencia de las oraciones, acá vamos a utilizar al inicio el verb be. Y el sujeto va a pasar al segundo, a la segunda sí. posición. Hacemos ese cambio ahí. Are you? En lugar de decir you are, que sería en una oración normal, ¿verdad? En una oración afirmativa. And the same goes for this example. Are they going to invite their best friends to the party? Y vemos que todo lo demás se mantiene en el mismo orden. Solo cambiamos los primeros dos elementos que son el sujeto, the subject, and also the verb be. Solo eso es lo que vamos a mover para hacer nuestras preguntas. Y luego tenemos las respuestas cortas que ya decíamos que cambian dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en la primera, are you going to? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Are they going to? Respondo con they también. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. 
Y lo mismo en la última, is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. También podemos utilizar las respuestas largas or long That's answers. Nice. For example, with this one, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Yes, I am going to have an exam tomorrow or no, I am not going to have an exam tomorrow. Let's see the next one, Jose Arturo. Tell me the long answer for this one. Are they going to invite their best friends to the party? Jose Arturo? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Completamos con la respuesta. I'm going, going to, to. I'm going to invite. They are. In. So we say, yes, they are going to invite their best friends to the party. Para la respuesta larga, básicamente lo que hacemos es volver a retomar la misma información que nos han preguntado, pero decirla en una oración, ya sea afirmativa cuando doy respuesta de yes, o negativa en el caso de que la respuesta sea no. Let's see. Mm. Noemi, help me please. Are they going to invite their best friends to the party? Tell me the long answer for yes. Um, yes, they are going to invite their best friend to the party. Excellent, Noemi. Exactamente, así es como vamos a responder, dando toda la información, okay? And um, let's see, Ana Ruth, the negative answer. Are they going to invite, <coughs> sorry, are they going to invite their best friends to the party? No, they aren't going to, the, to invite their best friend to the party. Very good. Thank you, Ana Ruth. Let's see, next one, Jason. Is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? Yes, she is going to have seafood for lunch. Very good. Carla, is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? No, she isn't. She isn't going to complete it, please. Damos la respuesta Hola, larga. Hola, Carla Enríquez. Yes, Carla Enríquez. Okay. Eh, Lisa, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Sería la respuesta corta. Ahora hagamos la respuesta larga, donde completamos la oración. She isn't going to. Going to have seafood for lunch. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Entonces, esas serían las respuestas largas. También tenemos la otra opción, que sería... Eh, concretar o corregir, digamos, la información. Por ejemplo, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? No, I'm going to have an exam on Friday, for instance. No, no tengo un examen mañana, lo tengo el viernes. Mm -hmm. Or is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? No, she is going to have spaghetti, for instance. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Any questions so far? No questions? No questions. Okay, no, so far so good. All right, so now let's practice. We are going to make some questions by using the information that I will give you here. So the first thing that we have is watch a TV program. So let's see, I'm going to start by asking Mauricio. Mauricio, are you going to watch a TV program? Negative or positive? You decide. Okay. Yes. Yes, I am. I am watch a TV program. 
I am going to watch a TV program. I'm going. Okay? Yes, Remember yes. to use going to. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. so Mauricio, now you make a question to Roberto. Using this information, read a book. Um, Mauricio pregunta y Roberto okay, okay. responde. Are, are you going are, are you going to read the book? Yes, I'm go, uh, yes I'm going to uh, read a um, book. Uh. Very good. So Roberto, please ask a question to Laura using this. Have beans for dinner. You are you I, are you uh, helping for dinner? Remember to use going to, Roberto, please. Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you going to help things for dinner? Laura? Laura? OK, so maybe Isabel, you can answer. Yes. Okay, I can hear Laura now. So Laura, are you going yes. to have beans for dinner? I am going to have beans for dinner. Excellent. Laura, can you ask Isabel now? And we're going to use play basketball on the weekend. Laura, make a question, please. Are you going to play basketball on the weekend? Isabel? Yes, I am going to play basketball in the garden. On the weekend, Isabel? Uh, on, on, the, on the weekend. OK, very good. So Isabel, now you ask Jasmine, go to the beach. Just go to the beach. Uh, are you go to the beach? Are you going to? Are you going to go to the beach? No, no, I'm I'm not going to go to the beach on the weekend. All right, nice. Jasmine, now you ask. For eat pupusas on Sunday, ask Jason. Okay. Are you going to eat pupusas on Sunday? Yes, I am. Like a good Salvadorian, right? Yes. Excellent. That's great. Okay, so now Jason, make a question to Irving. You seem visit your family soon. Okay. Are you going to visit your family soon? Yes, I am going to visit your family soon. Okay, very good. Just remember, when we answer this kind of question, we change it to my family. Are you going to visit your family soon? Yes, I'm going to visit my family soon. ¿Vas a visitar a tu familia? Sí, voy a visitar a mi familia, okay? Just remember to make that change. Very good. So now, Irvin, you ask the next, the next question to Lorena. You going to practice English in the platform? Yes. Yes, I'm going to practice English in the platform. platform. Very good. Okay, excellent, everybody. So now let's talk a little bit about the lesson objective for today. So by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions using Be Going To. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Vamos a hablar ahora de las preguntas utilizando WH, like WH questions or information questions, que es también otro nombre que les damos. Y también vamos a practicar utilizando una conversación. So let's start with the conversation. 
Les voy a convertir, les voy a compartir, perdón, acá la pantalla. Tenemos la conversación en el ejercicio número o en la sección número 1.10 de la plataforma. So let's listen to the conversation. Let me just check for the audio. Okay, let me share it once again. There we are. So let's listen and follow the conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. Using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation. Solo me confirman si pueden escuchar. Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks. Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Yes. Where are you going to go? Lagunas. Oh, really? Her favorite restaurant. We're going to oh, go. she's going to like that. Okay. How about you? What are you going to do? Well... I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the... Okay, so there we have the conversation where we can also see some of the WH questions we'd be going to. So, first of all, I would like to know if there is any question about the vocabulary or the pronunciation. ¿Tenemos alguna consulta respecto al, con respecto al vocabulario o a la pronunciación? No questions? No questions. No questions. Ok, very good. So now I'm going to ask you to volunteer to read the conversation. Um, les voy a pedir entonces a algunos que, que me ayuden a leer la conversación. Eh, me decía en el otro grupo que se ve un poquito borrosa. No sé si ustedes la alcanzan a leer. No, no se ve, teacher. No, no, no está ok. Bien. Acabo de enviar entonces la foto también en el grupo de, de chat. Oh, okay. Y revisan por ahí y me dicen quiénes van a leer. ¿Tú tienes algunos volunteers? Yo, teacher, la tengo así en la, en la plataforma. Ok, Irving, so you're the first volunteer. And who else? Okay. Okay, Lorena, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I am going to take my here girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to do to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. Oh, how, how about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, well, have a good Valentine's Day. You too. Thank you, your opinion, Lorena. That was very good. Do I have any other volunteers? Anybody? I want to practice. Okay. okay. Jasmine and anybody else? Me. Hi. Um, that is Ana Ruth. See? Sí? Yes. Okay. So Jasmine, you start. Ana Ruth, you are Tyler. So, okay. Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to, do, to go? Laguna. It is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? 
What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Excellent, girls. Do I have any other volunteers? No sé si tengo alguien más que quisiera leer. Me. Okay, so that Me. is Jose Arturo Me. and Isabel. Go ahead. I am Mona or Tyler? You are Mona. Okay. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's his favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go out. Uh, do a dance? Sound like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, very good. Thank you. And maybe we have time for one more pair. Do we have any volunteers? No sé si tengo alguien más que quiera leer. Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio and... Roberto. Okay, Mauricio and Roberto, go ahead. So, Mauricio, you start. <laughs> okay. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? One moment, please. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas, it is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Very good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so let's continue. So now let's talk a little bit about the structure of the WH questions. So we start with the WH word that can be what, where, what others? When. When. Which. Which. How. How. Which. How. Why. 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 Who? Who? Okay. Very good. So we have some different WH words that we can use. And then we add the verb be, am, is, or are. After that, we add the subject. Then we have going to, verb, and complement. And also an important part of a question is the question mark. Recordemos que siempre en una pregunta debemos escribir el signo o poner el signo de interrogación para mostrar que es una interrogación, una pregunta. So here I have some examples. Where are you going to go? Next example, Jose Arturo, help me to read, please. What are you going to do? Thank you. Mauricio, you read the next one. What are you going to do? And the one with who, please? Who are you going? Okay, how about Roberto? Read it, please. Yes, uh, who are you going to invite to the party? Thank you. Laura, read the next one. Where are you going to travel to Spain? Thanks. Let's see our next one, Jasmine. 
disclaimer you're going to buy so much food. Exactly. Why are you going to buy so much food? Thank you. Okay, so now we are going to try to give an answer to each of the questions just by inventing something, okay? Voy a preguntarle a algunos de ustedes y me da una respuesta y la que se le ocurra, okay? So okay. let's try it. Let's see, Isabel, what are you going, oh, sorry, where are you going to go? I am going to go to, uh, to the mall. Okay, nice, to the mall. Thank you. Next one, Jason, what are you going to do? I am going to do wash the dishes. I am going to wash the dishes. Okay. I'm going to wash the dishes. Great. Thank you, Jason. Then Lorena, who are you going to invite to the party? I'm going to invite my husband. Okay, nice. Thank you. Noemi, when are you going to travel to Spain? I I going listen to music next week. Um, Noemi, we are in this question. When are you going to travel to Spain? Cuando va a viajar a España? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Um, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to to travel to Spain. On, on December 15. Great. Okay, just remember, España, Spain. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Next one, Carla Maria. Why are you going to buy so much food? ¿Por qué va a comprar tanta comida? <laughs> uh, because I, I joined... I'm going to the party with family. <laughs> nice. I'm going to have a party with my family. That's great. Okay. 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 Thank you. So, as you see, they are easy. You have to start with the WH word, and then you follow the same structure to the to the yes no questions, right? Si se fija, lo único que hacemos es agregar la palabra con WH. Y luego se sigue la misma estructura de las yes no questions. Are you going to go? Are you going to do? And so on. El verb be, luego el sujeto, going to, el verbo. Y luego podríamos agregar un complemento. Siempre es importante poner el signo también. Okay, so now we're going to take some time to practice doing exercise number 1.11 in the platform. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio en la plataforma. Eh, he tenido varias consultas acerca de, de este, así que vamos a, a tratar de resolverlo acá todos juntos para que podamos tenerlo un poquito más claro. Si puede abrir su plataforma, si puede ingresar a la plataforma, vaya al ejercicio 1.11. Go to exercise number 1.11. De igual forma les voy a mandar... En un minutito las imágenes a la, al grupo del chat para que lo puedan tener. Ok. Ok, so there you have them now. So we are going to work in the knowledge check, the instructions, complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to, follow the example. So the example says, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. That's the example. Vamos a ir completando el ejercicio, escribiendo las palabras que nos hagan falta para completar el be going to. So, 
solo que acá yo había completado, así que me salen las respuestas. Sorry. Let me just erase them. I'm going to delete them all. Sí. Okay, so there we have them. So let's start with number one, conversation one. Please help me with 1B. Let's see, Jose Arturo, number 1B, complete it, please. Okay, so maybe any volunteer over there? Go ahead, please. Uh, who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Very good. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner? Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? And what we write is going to invite. Lo que debemos agregar is going to invite. Thank you. Number 1A. Any volunteers to tell me the answer? Go ahead, please. Uh, I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Thank you. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Exactly. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Acá agrego going to ask. Esa sería la respuesta. Going to ask. Y algo que es importante notar acá es que no agregamos el verb to be porque ya lo tenemos en la estructura. Acá en el caso I'm está contractado, pero está ahí. I'm, entonces nos hace falta going to ask. De igual forma en el primero, who are you? Ya tenemos el are, entonces solo agregamos going to invite. Okay, now conversation number two. To A, who can tell me the answer? What are you going to do for Halloween? Thank you. What are you going to do for Halloween? Exactly, so we add going to do. La respuesta, the answer would be going to do. And once yes. again, we already have the verb be. It's in the form are, right? Are you going to do? Now to be, tell me the answer, please. Can somebody tell me the answer? Let's see, Jason, help me please. Yo creería, teacher, que es, I'm not going to do any anything special. Exactly. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Thank you. Not going to do. Entonces, la respuesta que agregamos o que escribimos es not going to do. Not y recordemos ahí siempre que el not va después del verb be. Entonces, en este caso, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything special. Okay, now conversation number three. 3A, three Jasmine. How are you planning? going to celebrate New Year's Eve. Thank you. So you say, how are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Mm -hmm. De igual forma, escribimos únicamente going to celebrate. And exercise 3B. Let's see who can yes. help me with that one. Me, go teacher. Ahead. Go ahead, please. They, they are going to go Today, neighbors party. They are going to go. Going to what go. What we cried, going to go. Thank you. And the last conversation, number four. For A, who's going to help me with that one? Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, go ahead. Uh, what is your sister? 
that complete this what is your sister going to do for her birthday very good mauricio so we say what is your sister going to do for her birthday we write going to do and the last one for b who can help me with this maybe her boyfriend okay go ahead her boyfriend going to take her out for to dinner Ok, hair boyfriend, en este caso también necesitamos el is, porque si se fijan no lo han puesto en la oración aún. Entonces debemos agregarlo, is going to take. Thank you. So there we have it, hair boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. En este caso necesitamos agregar el verb be porque no lo tenemos. Acá solo tenemos el sujeto que sería hair boyfriend. Pero siempre que utilizamos going to, debemos usar una de las formas, am, is, o are, dependiendo del sujeto. Me comentaban también que eh, al poner solamente going to take, la plataforma lo toma como correcto. Pero en realidad no debería de ser así. Creo que se trata de, de un error de la plataforma porque siempre necesitamos el verb be, como le digo. Entonces, en ese caso, necesitamos agregar el is. Is going to take. Is okay? going to take. Yes. Her boyfriend is going to take. Okay. Any questions? No sé si tenemos Teacher, preguntas. Sí. Dígame. Sí, teacher, eh, con respecto siempre a la misma pregunta. Eh, is, eh, eh, ¿Por qué si, si está haciendo referencia a él? Her. Eh, perdón, a ella. Hers. A ella, porque estamos en, hablando... Al principio, ajá. El novio. Hers sí, boy. el ajá, novio, de... novio de ella. Su novio, exacto. El novio, Sería ajá. su novio la va a llevar a cenar. Su novio, es correcto. So that's why we say no, her boyfriend. Estamos hablando, como decía la compañera, el novio de ella. De ella. Uh -huh. Y ese her quiere decir que la va a llevar a ella. A ella, correcto. Uh -huh. Okay. Así, así respondo you. su pregunta. Ok. Any other questions? Yes. Yo, Carla, María, eh, en la conversación 3, eh, how are you parents? Yo puse going to celebrate. Uh -huh. Y me sale mal. Mm, no sé si se tratará tal vez de algún espacio que dejó algo así, going porque eh, si sí, es esa la respuesta, going to celebrate. Going to celebrate. Uh -huh. Ah, ah ya, ya. Eh, eh, la, 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 la mayúscula también. Ah, ok. Sí, exacto. Ya que lo menciona, es bueno recalcar que debemos tener okay. cuidado con las, el uso de las mayúsculas. Recordemos que únicamente utilizamos mayúscula para iniciar oraciones. Y también en algunos casos especiales como los nombres propios, nombres de personas, de lugares o de animales incluso. Y también los utilizamos para los días de la semana. Eso siempre llevan letra inicial mayúscula. Y luego también con las oraciones hay que tener en cuenta que siempre llevan un punto al final. Así como le decía yo con las preguntas, el signo de interrogación en las oraciones es el punto, el que no debe faltar. Esas cosas son bastante importantes en inglés. Y también ya que hacen mención de estos detalles, eh, el hecho de, de utilizar el apóstrofe también a veces nos da un poquito de problema en, en la plataforma porque la mayoría eh, no, utilizamos no, no. de repente por, el, por cuestiones del teclado, utilizamos la tilde que se parece bastante al apóstrofe. Sin embargo, la plataforma no la toma como, como apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Así que podría ser el caso de que de repente nos marque alguna respuesta incorrecta y sea solamente por eso, por el signo. Así que si usted tuviera problema con el signo del apóstrofe, utilice mejor la forma completa, la forma larga. En, en lugar de escribir they are, they, I'm sorry, there, escribimos they are. Para que nos tome como correcto, porque a veces sí da error por esa cuestión. No es la respuesta en sí, sino que el signo. Hay que tener cuidado con eso. Okay, do you have any other questions? 
Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. No more questions? You. Okay, so we are, we are almost done. There's only one more thing I need you to do. And that is to make a question using be going to. It could be a yes, no question or a WH question. Necesito que cada uno haga una pregunta con be going to. Puede ser yes, no o WH. Sería una pregunta para cualquiera de los compañeros. Ahí puede ser cualquier cosa que se le ocurra. Are you going to have dinner after the class? Or what are you going to eat? And what are you going to go tomorrow? Anything. Okay. Are you going to? Me. When okay. are you going to go to the beach? Um, I like going, I like going to the picnic on the beach. Okay, um, repeat that um, please, Lorena. Lorena, when are, you going to go to, when are you going to go to the beach, Noemi? When are you going to go to the oh. beach? Cuando va a ir a la playa, okay? Yes. I I going the the beach. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the beach. Um on January January 5th. Okay, okay. nice. Um, now Noemi, do we have a question for anybody? Eh, Jose Arturo. Okay. Are are going are cook going are you, to the are you going? Are you going the cook on Christmas? Yes, I am. I'm going to the cook chicken. Okay. Very well. Nice. Just nice. remember, we only say going to cook. No es necesario agregar el da. Ahí, the cook, no. Are you going to cook? Yes, to I'm cook. going to cook, okay? Solo el verbo. Okay. All right, excellent. Jose Arturo, do you have a question for anybody? Okay. Um, I don't remember the name. <laughs> okay, how about Mauricio? Mm -hmm. Mauricio, what are you going to do for this weekend? For this weekend? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm going to uh, do for work. Okay. I'm going to do okay. some work. Nice. Mauricio, some we have work. time for one yeah. more question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, Carla Hernandez. Carla what Enriquez. are you? <laughs> ah, Enriquez, perdón, sorry. What are you going to do for New Year? Uh, probably I'm going to next year. <laughs> Going what? to New Year. So, no. Repeat, please, Mauricio. Okay. What are you going to do for New Year? ¿Qué va a hacer uh, en el año nuevo, Carla? Mention some activities you're going to do. Yes. So you say, I'm going to... I going to I going to for New Year celebrate in my house. Okay, I'm going to celebrate in my house. Nice. Very good, Carla. Okay. And thank you, Mauricio. Uh, 
Okay. okay, so we are going to stop over here because it's time. And we are going to keep the, the other questions for tomorrow. Los que aún no han preguntado, guardan su pregunta para hacerla el día de mañana, okay? So take care, okay. everybody. See you tomorrow. Great. Have a good night. Good, good night, night, teacher. Good Thank night. you. Bye, Have everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. You. Bye. 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 Goodbye.